let's talk softball again. Okay. Because we've seen quite a boom with with uh, Jordy Ball's tr- official transfer now to Nebraska. Um, and we called it on Wednesday. It was going to lead to a ticket push. And Nebraska received 800 calls the day Jordan Ball announced their commitment to Nebraska about softball tickets. Um, they put out an email about getting on the softball ticket request list. Uh, there are only about 750 chair back seats over there. Mm-hmm. And then they could hold 2,500 total. What do you have standing? Okay. So there's a couple of things that come to mind as we discuss this. First of all, if there's ever an athlete, well, there's others, but this is a pretty good example of an athlete where you say, yeah, name, image, and likeness really makes sense, right? Name, image, and likeness really makes sense for Jordy Ball with all this stuff you're saying and reading, right? Look at, look at, she's selling tickets. What else they gonna they're they're, they're gonna ask jerseys her, well, that and they're gonna basically ask her to help recruit, okay? So what if she doesn't bring in a few players? Is she gonna get criticized? Well, she you better you better make sure she's getting compensated. I kind of read all this stuff and hope she has a sense of humor. I mean, she's obviously a very accomplished athlete who's very, com- I mean, confident in herself. But you know, I I I was reading Abby's takes three takes on Jordine Ball committing to Nebraska. And, and one of them was Nebraska is now a national title contender. <laughs> I'm like, she's Jiminy Christmas. Um, if there's a definition <laughs> of name, image, and likeness, that is that. I mean, yeah. That's what her, I mean, her value to this program, <laughs> to the state is, is very high. <laughs> it sure is. That's what I mean. I hope she has a sense of humor as she reads all this. Like, wow. Um, this is, people are counting me, counting on me to perhaps win a national championship spark a surge in the sport i play um what else and fill the stands yeah hopefully she's getting compensated very well because that's a lot that's a lot i'm not suggesting she can't handle it but man it is that's quite a lot if she's reading all that i just picture her reading it all and thinking wow uh, i guess this is pretty big well and just her passion to grow the sport of softball like abby barmore talked about yeah um, cause you know, living in Nebraska, it's volleyball, volleyball, volleyball. And I think she wants to yeah. get more girls going in softball. She will. She, I'm sure she will. I mean, so. This state, it, it's pretty remarkable for the size of our state. When you think about it. best softball pitcher, one of the best volleyball players in the world come out of Nebraska. I mean, you, you just think about some of these female athletes that have come out of Nebraska in the yeah. recent years. Yeah. She's, she's become a legend. I mean, she was 44 and two on the mound the last two years and this past season sean 2023 she had a 0.90 era she's bona fide star all american two-time all american she's she's the whole thing so it's yeah it's there's a lot there's a lot to this conversation that's fascinating it's fascinating that ronda Ravel at age 60 or 61 gets this late career shot you know this late career shot in the arm that it, it, that she's had a good program They've made the NCAA tournament, Sean, I think 15 times under Ronda. She's been the coach since 1993. They've made the last two NCAA tournaments. They won three games in the NCAA tournament this year. But this is the kind of player that can put you over, right? No question. I mean, yeah. just um, the pitcher position and, and the transfers that she's going to bring with her. Well, we, we, I think so. I think so. Well, I mean, it's pretty well, – I mean, I hate to do that to her. Like, what if she doesn't bring him? Now, now is, is, is she not what you want? I don't – I don't like, I guess what I'm saying, Sean, I don't want to put all this pressure on her that she's going to automatically carry Nebraska to a national championship, that she's going to re, she's going to change the roster. I mean, she can only, Sean, Sean I mean, I don't, I don't, I guess I'm just trying to take some heat off of her, you know? Like, well, there's already good players that have gone in the portal that she's got ties to. Yeah. Well, we'll see what happens there. So it's going to be fun to watch that come together. And I'm intrigued just to see the crowds, what what kind of crowds they're going to draw. And <laughs> they'll be gigantic. <clears throat> they'll be gigantic. Well, and, you know, Hawks, uh, the Bowling Stadium over there for softball, they've got to do a few things to actually host um, regionals. You've got to have replay cameras and everything installed in there. They actually don't have that in there. So, you know, Nebraska is going to have to put some money into Bowling Stadium to get it up to par in order to host a regional and a super regional. Yeah. Well, they'll and do it. They'll they do have, it I don't know this, but I don't know if they've ever, ho- I don't know if they've, I don't know if they've hosted over. I don't know. I'm curious the last time Nebraska's hosted 
uh, a regional. You know what I tell you, Sean? Don't, don't, don't ask, ask questions. questions on the. I know, I know, it's your pet I, peeve. I don't know. I, I don't know that either. So, we should. It's not now. Me and you haven't specialized in softball coverage. I used to cover Ronda's teams in the right at the start of her career here, '93. Um, but I haven't. You know, we're pretty preoccupied over here. Yeah, I'm looking here. I mean, in the early 2000s, um, you know, like 2000, the 2000 team was 52 and 21. And then she went 51 and 15 and 50 and 14. I mean, they, they had some really, really Ronda, good teams Ronda. that era. Yeah, Rhonda. And that was Lori. Lori Sipple's been with her. No relation. Lori Sipple's been with her. Sean, she's been with her from the jump, I believe. They, they've been, They've been a coaching duo for as long as I can remember. In 2013, they had a top 10 season. They finished eighth, okay. and they made a College World Series that year. Okay. They've made three College World Series under Ronda's watch. Three. And I'm going to say 15 NCAA tournaments. 2014, they were in a Super Regional. Okay. But they haven't been ranked at the end of a season since 2014. Okay. So, uh, yeah. This is – they'll count they'll count on Jor- Jordan Ball, Jordy Ball, to put them over the top. And is it Jordan will. or Jordan? Well, her real name is Jordan. Okay, Jordan. Yeah, I've never heard just people say Jordine. I say it. Okay, but, I'm just trying to yeah. get, get up <laughs> well, to speed here because I've never heard anyone say spelled, Jordine. Well, it's spelled J O R D Y N. Yeah, Jordan Ball. Okay, I, I read that as Jordine. Um, <laughs> what, like, we're going to tee this one up to your Ramir Johnson <laughs> on <the> pronunciation. Well, <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, I just want to make really sure you, you for a loop. We're probably going to say Jordy, Jordan Ball's name a few more times. So <laughs> let's get it down. Jordan. <laughs> We need to end this whole Jordine <laughs> thing while we can. All right, on that, on, okay, on that note. Uh, duly uh, noted, Sean. 